Okay, I've been working on the Rhino model of the Jimbe Omkites and changed quite a few parameters, quite a few uh, bits of the setup and the algorithm so we can now tweak the the overall width of the, the rings, the step spacing inward, um, we've got the, the number of steps inward, and what else have we got? We've got how high you raise the insides. Uh, so that sort of control there, the, um, it's not shown dynamically here, but if those red lines on the inside were raised, that I reckon that's a very good collective group power spilling there. Uh, I can change the number of sets of kites around each ring, the separation between each layer, so you can space them out a bit more. And we can change how tall we shoot this, because there's going to be an, you know, when we uh, do the analysis on the lines and quite how far the torsion can transfer, you know, how tall they, they are, how many tall they are, and, you know, how wide they are, especially. That's going to change how much torsion we can send down there. Uh, we can change the bridling catenary here between the layers so we can. Uh, drop that down a bit, or you know, change the, the sort of length of that. Notice how it's a, a very simple algorithm I've got on those at the moment. Uh, it's not, you know, not dynamically assigned uh, to the forces in here. It's just a generic relationship. But yeah, it's come on an awful long way.